Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshing of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools and welcome back to another one of our product review slash tutorials. And today I want to talk uh, real quick about the Scientific Anglers Regulator Spool, the portable line winder. You know, uh, this is not exactly new. Uh, it's been out for maybe a season or two, uh, but we've been playing around with it for a while and I'm really starting to like this thing, uh, having a lot of fun with it. And it's really saving me a, a lot of money and a lot of space, to be honest with you. I mean, we've shown you uh, the switch box, which is a, and if you haven't seen it, there's a video right here linked. If you can't see that link, it's down in the description. Uh, but the switch box is a, it's a cool way to store extra fly lines and to take line off of reels, put line back on reels. But to be honest with you, as much as I love them, they wind up being expensive. I mean, I have a lot of fly lines and they also can get a little bit cumbersome when you're traveling. I might, uh, for example, I was just in the Amazon. I probably had 12 different fly lines with me and I just don't have space in my luggage for the switch boxes. So this is another alternative from Scientific Anglers. Comes packaged like this and you just take the thing apart by rotating it and discard that. And then you've got these two little pieces right here, these two little, what you're gonna find out are crank handles. So I'll put this puppy back together super easy okay and in this case one handle one of my handles is going to go right through the middle slot you'll notice on one side of the spool there's just one slot and you just kind of squeeze that together and there's your handle on this side of the spool there is an offset hole and I'm going to squeeze that handle through the offset hole and now that becomes your crank handle Okay, I know, isn't that cool? Man, I wish I would have thought of this. And then you're gonna get yourself some pipe cleaners. Uh, you could also use like the old bread ties or uh, twist ties. Uh, we just use these pipe cleaners, which you can buy pretty cheap. And you're gonna fold that pipe cleaner down and inside that spool and then wrap it around. Okay, and this is what you're gonna wrap your fly line around. Fold those over. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the end of my fly line, or my leader, and I'm simply going to put it through one of the holes here, and then I'm gonna take a piece of duct tape. Okay, we've been using some duct tape here recently in honor of the Red Green Show, and just because duct tape is cool. And I'm going to put that duct tape and that's going to hold my leader in place. And then I need a helper. And you're going to have your helper hold your, hold your fly line or excuse me, hold your rod or just your reel. And I usually give this a couple starter wraps. Okay. Glasses are on. Get her tightened up. Yeah, we're going to do a, a quick clock wipe while I get this leader tightened up. There we go. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is crank my fly line right on. Uh, this is not only practical, friends, but I mean, this is downright fun. Don't you think this is fun? Isn't it fun? Um, it's really so much fun. I mean, it's fun for the whole family. Um, you can get you can get the kids involved. You might even be able to include a dog or two. And then finally, you're gonna get to your backing. You can either cut, or uh, in this case, I would unloop the backing. That's why we tie that bimini twist in the backing. I'll unloop for now. I'll just cut it for the simplicity of this video. And then all we're going to do is now fold these pipe cleaners over and give them a little bit of a twist. Okay, I'm sure we have a, a video on how to twist things. It's probably right there. And then take my duct tape off and I'll twist my other pipe cleaner. You're going to be, you're going to be blown away by this. Watch, watch this. 
I take this apart and look. Have you have you ever have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, that is so awesome. And so now, instead of these big bulky spools, you can take a Ziploc baggie. I can mark that as a, let's just say that's a six weight high vis flip line, which is of course my favorite fly line and what most of my bags will say in a variety of different weights. And now you can throw that line in this bag and instead of spending, I just spent about 4.7 cents instead of $14. It's an easy way to store your line. Scientific anglers, of course, they do make a convertible fly line or head wallet, so I can easily, and this is a really cool thing, I can easily stick that fly line in one of these pouches and I can store these at home and or this is a perfect travel companion so I can have this full of four or five different fly lines. It travels a lot better, takes up a lot less space and it winds up being much less expensive. And then of course, <clears throat> to, to put this back on your fly rod or fly reel, excuse me, to put this back on your fly reel, it's just you just reverse the process. Click it into place, I'm gonna loop this onto the bimini twist in my backing and then you're going to have somebody hold it you can hold it with that crank handle you can also take this handle out and put it in the middle so someone can hold it just like this and then you're going to reel your fly line right back and on so super simple it winds up being relatively inexpensive and you can use ziploc baggies to store your fly lines all you need uh, really is one of the regulator spools, the line winders. Uh, you might need some duct tape. Of course, who doesn't need duct tape? Um, and then if you want to, you can get yourself this head wallet. Uh, of course, you can put these anywhere. SpongeBob, optional. All right, friends. Well, thank you very much to Linda for her help today. Much appreciated. And uh, as always, we appreciate you being here. Thanks for your support. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free and it really helps us out. Hit that like button. That just makes us feel good. Uh, go over to madriveroutfitters.com. Buy a bunch of things because we really appreciate it and we, you know, we need your support. But also sign up for our newsletter. That way you stay in touch with what we're up to, where we're going, what we're doing, what's new, all that kind of stuff. So thanks as always for being here, friends, and stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming at you.